Did you come up with the phrase figure outable yourself? My mom. Oh, actually. come on. Tell us about her. Tell us about your mom. She's such an interesting character. So, my mom grew up in the projects of Newark, New Jersey, uh, for the daughter of two alcoholic parents. And she learned by necessity how to stretch a dollar bill around the block like five times. And when I was a young child in New Jersey, one of my fondest memories was sitting at the kitchen table on Sundays with the Sunday paper clipping out coupons because she loved to teach us how to save money. She also loved to teach me about the free stuff that brands would send you if you saved up the proof of purchase. Do you guys have that? Yeah. Yeah. So one of her prized possessions was this little transistor radio was shaped like a Tropicana orange that she got from Tropicana orange <gasps> juice for free. I want one of those. Right? <laughs> so I'm going to send you one, actually, Chris. <laughs> okay. So I have like 30 of them now because everyone's purchased them off of eBay and they send them all to cool. me. So there was a little red and white straw sticking out of the side. It was her favorite thing. Anyway, as a child, <laughs> I knew how to find my mom somewhere around the yard of the house by listening for the sound of that tinny radio. So one day I'm walking home from school and I approach the house and I hear the radio off in the the distance and as I get closer she is actually on the roof of our two-story house perched very precariously with her little orange radio next to her and I'm like mom what are you doing up there is everything okay and my mom she's like re everything's fine the roof had a leak I called the roofer he said it was gonna be at least 500 bucks I said screw that I'm gonna fix it myself <laughs> Another day, I come home from school, and I hear the radio off in the distance, and I find my mom in the back of the house. She's in the bathroom. I push open the door. There's, like, dust particles in the air. There's pipes sticking out of the wall. It looked like an explosion went off. I said, Mom, is everything okay? What are you doing? She's like, Rhea, I'm fine. The tiles had some cracks in them. I didn't want the bathroom to get moldy, so I'm retiling the bathroom. Now, you guys, you got to understand, my mom is high school educated. This is the 80s. This is a pre-internet, pre-Google, pre-YouTube world. One day I come home and I walk up to the house and it's dark out. Things were eerie and everything was silent. And for an Italian American home, that is a, not a good sign, yeah. right? Silence is not good. I walk in and I'm like, where's the sound of the radio? Where's my mom? Tiptoeing around, don't find her. All of a sudden I hear some clicks and clacks. They're coming from the kitchen. I walk into the kitchen and I see my mom hunched over the kitchen table, which looked like an operating room. There was like screwdrivers and electrical tape. And in about a dozen pieces was a completely dismantled Tropicana orange radio. And I was like, Mom, are you okay? I know this is her favorite thing. She's like, Re, I'm fine. She's like, the <laughs> antenna was broke. The dial was a little off. So I'm just fixing my radio. And I stood there, Chris, and I said, hey, Mom, how do you know how to do so many different things that you've never done before, but nobody's showing you how to do it? She put everything down. And she looked at me and said, Re, life is not that complicated. You can do anything you set your mind to. If you roll up your sleeves, you get in there and do it. Everything is figure outable. Come on! And from that moment, that little phrase took root in my soul. And I'll tell you, it's been the single most powerful driving force in my life. Well, I'll tell you this. I've been doing this for a few years now. Yeah. That's the best answer to a single question I've ever come across. Yes! Because you, you, you told us a story, you told us a story, you told us a story, and then you ended with everything is figure outable, which we knew you were going to say, but it didn't make it any less of a moment. Amazing, amazing. But you're right, everything is figure outable. And once you get into the detail of things, this is very Japanese, isn't it? Yes. You know, once you, once you get into the detail of things, it's A, do you want to figure it out? Because if you don't want to figure it out, don't bore the rest of us with it. Not, yes. it. not interested. If it's just your currency to moan, you know, not, take your act somewhere else. That's right. And by the way, many people, they moan about the same thing all the time. All the time. All the time. They've got that, like their moaning act and they have to move from one person to the next. That's right. And, and you give them an hour of your time and you, you indulge them and you think you've helped them out. And then you hear them five minutes later saying the same thing from the beginning to somebody else. You think, hang on, this is just what, this is just how they fill their day. That's right. Well, so I, I love this because you brought up a great point. A lot of people listening might, right now might be skeptical. Like, come on, who is this girl? She's from America. It's no, they too won't. optimistic. They won't be skeptical from this no, show. You don't think so? No. They love, they love stuff like this. Oh, I love this. Well, I'm going to give people the three rules because they really help us use this philosophy and this phrase for its intended purpose, which is to help us to create change in our life and the world around us. So rule number one is this. All problems or dreams are figure outable. Rule number two, if a problem isn't figure outable, it's not a problem. It's a fact of life like death, gravity, certain laws of nature. Rule number three, and this is to your point, <laughs> so you may not care enough to solve a particular problem or reach a particular dream, and that's totally okay. Yeah. Find something you do care deeply about and go back to rule number one, and that handles most issues. So everything is interesting if you want it to be, and there's a different way of looking at that, which is there's no such thing as an ordinary moment. And if you look at life like that, life gets so much easier because it's easier to fill your day, not fill your day, but fulfill your day day by going deep as opposed to long and once you start to go deep with everything you need less money you need less friends you need less time 
it just makes life so much easier. And that's why the, the man who makes toothpicks in Japan that we have a box of spends his whole life trying to make the best ever hand-fashioned toothpicks in a beautiful box. And you can feel the life and the dedication, the attention and the presence that's in that. Oh, that's transformational. And it speaks to that Japanese notion of ikigai right? Wake, having a purpose to wake up to in the morning. And I think when you understand this notion that everything is figure outable and you actually direct your time and your energy and your gifts towards that which really matters to you, you're right. All of the world really transforms for you. You can get into things and you don't need to spread yourself so thin. You don't need to feel like you're overstretched and overcommitted and trying to do everything because you found the root of fulfillment. Yeah. And the thing about that is as well, um, if, you if you decide on, so if you pick something, whether it's running and you, like Vassus runs all the time, I run a bit, you run all the time, and you find out everything about running, your need for more of everything else just starts to disappear until one day you, you feel light, you become lighter. And the lighter you are, the lighter life is, and the more chances you have to flower, and you will flower. Oh, absolutely. This is one of the things I live my life by as a highly creative person, simplify to amplify. So <laughs> if you want yeah. to, right, if you want to amplify, whether it's your results or your sense of joy or your sense of contribution or how far simplify you can get in any domain. Amplify. Yes, simplify to, it keeps me sane all of the time. We you use it constantly. Awesome. Thank You're you. You're awesome. The Chris Evans Breakfast Show with Sky.